Hey there everybody, this is Robin with Creative Two Time Mom. It's the beginning of August and I'm wondering where the last eight weeks of our summer vacation have gone. In a week and a half, my high schooler goes back to school and in two weeks I'm starting a new homeschool year. I'm not ready for that just yet. But today's video is going to be all about our August goals. So pick up a cup of coffee and let's get started. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin and this is Creative Two Time Mom. This channel is all about homeschooling, parenthood, and thriving in the day today. And once in a while, I get around to recording one of these monthly goal videos for you. I think it's been a couple months since I've actually sat in front of the camera and shared with you some of the goals that I am making. And as we're starting a new homeschool year, I don't know about you, but I get that like anxiousness about starting new things and yet still trying to get things accomplished from the summer because I had really lofty goals and then if you saw my reading video last week I think all I did for the entire summer was go to the lake and read books. <laughs> so with school starting in a couple weeks I'm thinking oh no I've got stuff I gotta get done. So in these videos I usually set goals in four focus areas and that's homemaking, parenthood, marriage, and some personal goals and I try to limit each of those categories to one or two items Otherwise, I'm really type A and I tend to overwhelm myself. So I set goals, but I try not to be too crazy ambitious because then I just sit on the couch and read. <laughs> so let's talk about homemaking goals. This was my goal for the summer and it got put off now until the beginning of August and it really needs to be done. I walked in my bedroom today and I thought, oh my goodness, we have been enjoying the summer, that's for sure, because everything has just kind of gotten dumped in there. Not only has it been um, a dumping area for things that don't have a home, but now that we've been camping and we had a family reunion and um, now I've got a few surprises in there for the homeschool year that I'm trying to keep hidden, it's a mess. And I don't even want to be in there right now. I don't think my husband wants to be in there right now. And I really want our master bedroom to be sort of a sanctuary, a getaway from all the chaos, a place that's just our space. And I'm looking in there right now and neither of us like even want to spend any time in there. It will never be perfect. I live in a small home. It will always be cluttered, but it definitely has gotten pretty out of control over the summer. So that is my goal over the next two weeks, probably more than likely needs to be done before school starts because it's a bigger job that I won't be able to do in small increments of time. So I want to get in there, get some things out of there, get it a little bit more organized, see what I actually have and what things need to go back into their homes. That is the home of some things, it's just the way it is, but what things actually need to be put back where they belong. So I have a couple of goals in my parenthood category, and the first one is a little bit vague. I'm still working out the details of what that's gonna look like, but over the summer, our schedule has gotten real loose. You guys know that it was really impressed on me during the last homeschool year to really disciple my kids and be in the word with my kids and to bring them up in the Lord. I felt like I had gotten very lax in that, and so last homeschool year was to really hone in on that and really make those um, disciplines a habit. And over the summer, a lot of those have fallen by the wayside. We're not all getting up on a regular routine and going to school like we were during the school year, so our prayer time has fallen by the wayside in the morning. So I really want to instate, I would say that this kind of all falls under the heading of like discipleship. So really reinstating our prayer time in the mornings before school starts and possibly some Bible time, whether that just is having the time to read a chapter together in the morning or just having the time to read, you know, five or ten verses because I have one kid that I don't homeschool. So looking at our schedule and trying to see where that best fits, but I think morning time for us, that's going to be the best possible complement to how our family functions. The other goal that I have for the month of August is to get the kids out on a one-in-one -one day, whether that be going to have breakfast, whether that be going to feed the ducks, whether that be going to take a walk or go on a longer bike ride. My daughter really is into cycling right now, 
and August would be a good time to do that since we're out of our school routine. I've been noticing that they really, as much family time as we've spent together over the summer, they're really needing and craving that one-on-one -on -one time, particularly my oldest. So getting that, whether that's with myself or my husband, setting aside that time to do something very intentional with each of them. My next area of focus would be marriage, and August is my anniversary month. We will be celebrating 20 years come the middle of August, and that kind of blows my mind because I was 21 when we got married. So if we are celebrating our 20th anniversary this year, that officially makes us adults. <laughs> that means that I have been with my husband almost as long as I lived without him, which is a whole other reality once you get to that point in your marriage. So we desperately need a date night. Like I said, we have spent a lot of time together as a family. We've done a lot of family time together over the summer. And that's good. I think that's very much so needed. Um, but we had plans fall through for a trip this summer that we're not going to be able to take. And I think we're both just needing that space to be honest with each other and to have deep heart-to-heart -heart connecting conversation. So I'm hoping to shoot for one around our anniversary and possibly a second at the end of the month because I just think it's a very well, um, very much needed. And I think I shared in my reading wrap up last week as well that I'm also going to be reading Vertical Marriage. And I, for me, it's just an investment in my marriage. Sometimes marriage books can be sort of, um, what's the word? <laughs> I don't know, they're trite maybe, cliche. Uh, but I'm looking into this one because it also can be an investment in it. If it's a good book, it realigns my perspective and it realigns who I am in this relationship and what I bring to the relationship. So I think just taking that time to really invest in my husband and hear his thoughts and hear his mind and, and sort of do the things that he is craving. I know we all have our own love language and my love language is definitely not his. And so realigning my focus into speaking into his heart in a way that he receives it. And my last goal setting section is personal and this is sort of silly, sort of fun, but definitely like a practical thing that needs to be done. And that is that I need to work on the kids Christmas ornaments. This was one of my summer goals was to get their Christmas ornaments done. Every year I create an ornament for them that symbolizes something that they're into or something that they love that we have been involved in that year. Uh, and so it was actually a goal from like way back in the beginning of the summer and it didn't get done. So it really needs to get done in August. I find that if I put it off any later into the fall, then I'm struggling in December. <laughs> so I want to get those done. The other thing I'm contemplating doing is a three week, uh, I think it's called three week reset and it's a clean eating program. Now I'm going to finish up 80 day obsession a little bit late this year. Typically I try to finish it up just, you know, the week before school starts, but we, I don't, I'm not always great about going back and doing the videos that we miss when we go camping or the videos that we miss when we go on vacation. And this year I found that I had to. I couldn't miss big blocks of cardio days because of my cardio conditioning was gone. So I've been going back and as we're gone, I'm making up those days. But that means that I'm not going to be finishing until later into the school year. So when I finish that, I'm contemplating either doing like a three week reset or just doing a three week um, yoga challenge, something before I jump into another really hard program. So those are my goals for the month of August. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know, are you a goal setter? And what are some of your goals for the next month? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the links down below. There will be some of our most recent videos linked in the description box for you. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.